Okay, this video is going to show you how to prime a gajabrera. Let's say the, you hear the pump going on and it's running and running, but no water getting sucked up and it'll give you an error message. Here's how you, here's how you do it. This is what you're going to need to do it with. Uh, the end of this will push onto the opening inside there. Okay, you can stick your hand in there and you can get that. We're going to have to make the machine think that it has water in it by putting our hand over a sensor down, just kind of like this. And you see, if you take my hand off there, it says that uh, it needs water. So you would be going, kind of look down here. Mm -hmm. Right in there is where this, right there is, or the end is where the sensor is. So your hand has to go in and cover this side here. Okay, go, want to zoom back for a minute? Mm -hmm. So it'll be just like this. Okay. So anyway, to do this, take this priming pump here, put it in your water, and suck it up. Then blow any air out, suck it up again. And then we'll put this over that hole. Should slide on there pretty good. Okay. Then now what we're going to do is we're going to machine will may have an error here or anything but when you turn the machine on i'm going to turn this i'm going to put my hand over here and it's going to get ready if the pump goes on squish this bulb until the water gets sucked in you notice that the bulb will get will compress down as it sucks the water when it does that immediately turn the machine off and then put the reservoir in you're good if this you're pushing on this and it doesn't go push a little harder it'll go as long as you got that fitting on there pretty good. So I'm going to do it here. Put this over here. Okay, things has water. Turn that and push hard. Okay, it took it. See? Turn it off. Pull that off. Maybe more gently than I did. Push that back in. And in this case, when you have these lights, just turn that to prime it. Okay, and now we're good to go. The key thing about this is if you push on this and it's not going, you can push harder. You know, make it go, force it. And then after that, you'll be good to go. The reason this happens sometimes on new machines, there's a little rubber valve on the outlet of a pump that kind of sticks from sitting for a month or so or whatever. They'll open it up and you'll be good forever.